it's very difficult but we miss and of course the food is we have wonderful food german food as i used to say is a variation of pig with potatoes and potatoes with pig and here in portugal we have then more variety and etc and so there's some things that i really missed Hi everybody, I'm Helena Ferro de Gouveia, I'm a political affairs analyst, I'm a mother, I'm a consultant, I'm a university professor, I do a lot of things, I really enjoy my country and I really enjoy to talk about my country with Dylan and these wonderful podcasts and we talk about food, we talk about Portuguese qualities, we talk a little bit about Germany, I think you will enjoy our chat. Welcome back or welcome to another episode of Portugal The Simple Life and I'm really delighted to be joined here by Helena Ferro de Gouveia, the first person that's ever done a podcast with us from the car. So you're making history on Portugal The Simple Life <laughs> podcast. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And thank you for welcoming me in your podcast. <laughs> good, good, good. So I hope that you can multitask. This is a uh, proof uh, if uh, if women can multitask, I'm used than, to do almost men. everything in my car. <laughs> okay, good, <laughs> good, good, phone good. calling, solving things, even for television. Sometimes I'll do things from my car. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> there we go. For my car. Wonderful. Okay, Helena, why don't you tell us? Start off by telling us a little bit about you. Well, I'm uh, Helena. Um, I lived long time abroad in Germany, 20 years. Uh, where I worked as a journalist, international correspondent, war correspondent. Then I moved from journalism to international to development politics, and I worked around the world in four continents, over 50 countries. And then I decided in 2017 to return back to my country, to Portugal, and reinvent me. And now I'm very happy <laughs> working with CNN as an international affairs analyst. But doing a lot of other things, I'm a lecturer in, in, at the university uh, in human rights and gender issues. I, I write, uh, I teach, <laughs> I do a lot of things, I do volunteering. And I'm a mother as well, a very proud mother of two young girls. Wonderful. And well, that's me. <laughs> the Portuguese, we still have that spirit of the navigador, you know, the navigator spirit of going out and and trying and exploring and 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 working in different places and but it is something quite wonderful about the portuguese that they will go to other places this is why we have portuguese all over the world and they find a way to adapt find a way to integrate and to make a way well indeed we are a small country we always were a small country and mm -hmm. we had the ocean before us and staying behind us so we have then to adapt and then to explore the opportunities that the geography offered us and i think we portuguese that's one of the main or main positive characters of our of the portuguese is this capacity to to go out to experience to experience everything and it's true i met portuguese people around the world in every corner there's yeah. a portuguese it's very very interesting to to, to notice uh, and i think there's something very positive we can adapt we can improvise we can do the best and we are willing to learn that's why when you go to Spain, and I love Spain, uh, they have difficulties, for instance, in speaking English, or even if they do, they speak English with a very difficult accent. For, uh, and Portuguese uh, learn other languages, learn other skills. When we've been in a place for a long time, uh, we take certain things for granted. And we, then when we go to another country or to another place, it kind of forces us to appreciate some things a little bit more. I mean, what were some of the things that you missed some of the things that you learned to appreciate a bit more about about portugal while you were living over there in germany one thing was water water when i mean water i mean water? the ocean because okay the water the ocean <laughs> okay, okay. because i lived my whole life in lisbon i had then rio tejo and i had the ocean nearby or in Cascais or the on the other side and across the caparica or whatever so it was very easy for me when i was living in in lisbon just to, to go to the other side to, to travel through through Ponte Vincenco de Vril and go to the to the to the beach and stay there and enjoy just enjoying and i missed that a lot i missed the lights lisbon has a wonderful light it's a 
beautiful city. It was always a beautiful city with a very special light. And I missed also these uh, Portuguese people are almost, or my friends, or my family, always smiling. They are very positive, I think. And German were most than close. We need this time to break the ice and then mm -hmm. to, to connect, to bond. And that was something that I really missed. And this this capability that we have then to improvise. And I, I had then the opportunity to do some some work and some missions that, work than, that I had to do because the Germans said, no, no, you go because you can go out of the box, think mm -hmm. different than you can connect the people. So you are the right person for this mission or for this country or for solving these kind of problems. So indeed it's it's very difficult but we miss and of course the food is we have wonderful food german food as i used to say is a variation of pig with potatoes and potatoes with pig and here in portugal we have then more variety and etc and so there are some things that i really missed how many languages do you speak Helena? well portuguese and german as native uh, language i do speak uh, english french spanish i know a little bit of italian and then wow. ca i can uh, a few words in arabic wow and, uh, but because of the travels of course i had to learn but here in Portugal is quite normal because at school we had to to learn then uh, French and uh, English they are mandatory I learned German because I wanted to learn German and the Spanish I learned Spanish at an, uh, at an institute but Spanish and Portuguese are very similar so it's easy for someone who speaks Portuguese than to learn Spanish and the other way uh, yeah, well. yeah 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 amazing Lena, just tell us a bit about about your. Uh, how many books have you written? I know you. I know of one. Have you written? How many books have you written? Well, I have uh, published uh, a little bit of an academic uh, uh, papers on an academic books. Okay. Very boring. <laughs> no, that's no, no, just uh, <laughs> joking. But I have two books. One on the uh, travel chronics because I traveled a lot and I used then the opportunity then to write about these travels. And I published mm. last year a book about uh, women uh, at war, the role of women at the war. It's an essay about war and about its, uh, its uh, significance to all of us. And now I'm writing another one. I hope to have it ready <laughs> soon in order to be okay. published this year, but I cannot promise because I'm doing thousand things at the same time. With such a, a, a busy life and you know, you, you're involved in, in things that can be quite stressful. We're talking about high profile things and talking about wars and politics. I mean, how does this place and, and living in this this country give you rest and give you balance? For instance, I'm talking to you and now I'm seeing here from my driving Tejo. And it's wonderful. <laughs> when I look at my country, it's so beautiful. So it, it I just rest. I go to the beach and I do love the ocean. Uh, I do a little bit of surf. I'm very bad, <laughs> but I'll, I'll try. <laughs> well, just I what, can say I'm. Wanna, <laughs> do you want to come up and here and, and surf Nazare? No, oh God, I'm very, I'm terrible <laughs> because I started with my daughter. She's very good. I'm very bad, but I, I enjoy it. <laughs> and I need I need the ocean, the ocean, the connection to water, and of course Portugal. I have all my friends here and we are doing a lot together we decided that after covid we decided that we had to 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 meet uh, every month or every week so i have different different circles of friends and we are doing uh, things together going to the theater going to the opera going to the cinema just having uh, dinner just have uh, nice talks and that's that's very important and i have it here also here in portugal and i think portugal is very relaxed to live. Our way of life is very, very relaxed. Looking for a home in Portugal? This break in Portugal, the Simple Life podcast is brought to you by Dylan and his team of certified realtors at Portugal Realty. Portugal Realty offers the exclusive Simple Life Home Buyer Program. Visit PortugalRealty.com today and book your free call to find out more. Welcome to the Simple Life. You've lived overseas, you've worked in a lot of different places, traveled, 
um, being exposed to lots of different cultures, and and maybe we've covered some of this already. But what do you what do you think makes Portugal unique? We are peaceful, and we enjoy we enjoy peace. We try to to solve problems. We don't like conflicts, so that makes us unique. We enjoy life. If you you, you are living also here in Portugal, we do a lot of things at table. So we, we have then uh, meetings at table and discuss important things while we're eating because we enjoy life. And it's, it's sometimes easier when you have someone that is pleased uh, with, the, with, the, with the meal than to bring that person to discuss something mm-hmm. very hicky or, or very difficult. So we try then, then t- to solve things enjoy life that make us unique and also this openness and this readiness and mm-hmm. this also sometimes this willing to go forward and to, to discover but when we have a mission we do it and we do it good and we like to receive other people we have always open arms that's one thing that i really like in portugal we we have open arms we look at the world we like we like to have the world at our home and i think that's very differentiates portugal yeah i would agree with that 100 percent elena what um is one thing that you would like people to remember and to take away from our conversation one thing one thing be always open try to try the, sh- the shoes of the other walking with them and try and understand that not everyone have to have the same shoes or the same shoes that you have it's I not like only uh, walking with the shoes of the other but also understanding that the shoes of the other can be the sh- can be different from yours and can be the shoes that you don't think the other needs. It was something that I learned when I was working, for instance, in Africa, not to take my European uh, glasses, to just put my European glasses away and put them the African or the Asian uh, glasses and learn from them. Mm-hmm. Look them in the eyes and learn from them, not going out with my recipes as European, but learn from them, work with them. And that's something that I would like them, people to take from our conversation, from our chat. Elena, um, I've really enjoyed this conversation and your multitasking is very impressive. Okay, so congratulations. <laughs> but uh, a question you. that we ask all of our guests, Elena, uh, Portugal, the simple life, why? The simple life, because we can enjoy everything. We start a chat with uh, persons we don't know. We start laughing with uh, persons we don't know. You go in a coffee and you say good morning or good afternoon and you sit at the table and you start speaking with the, the, the people. We enjoy simple food, sometimes just a sardine and a bread that are quite simple, but they are delicious. And for us, I said, we enjoy talking about the next meal. We are having lunch and we are thinking about the lunch that we have had and the lunches or dinner that we will have and That's we're talking true. about food we, we we really enjoy life and we enjoy simple things like for instance Portugal has have wonderful fruit peaches mm-hmm. for instance is something that we really we, these are very simple things but we can chat for hours about that and we are always trying to help others there's something that i think Port- portuguese people are very generous we help mm-hmm. others at the street we still greet uh, each other we are able then to, in- to enable a conversation and we smile a lot i think portuguese mm-hmm. are very smiley we also know to enjoy the best that our country has to offer us helena thank you so much for being on the on the podcast it's been a wonderful conversation no, it's- Thank you, and sorry for being driving. I'm going now through the Ponte 25 de Abril. It's also a wonderful place in Portugal. I really enjoy yeah, yeah. <laughs> crossing the, the crossing the river. Now, some, there's a place where I relax. I just go and look at the city, look at this wonderful bridge, look at the water, and then just enjoy my country. <laughs> wonderful. So, uh, Helena, I'm going to let you call it, and this is the part where you say, that's a wrap. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> So thank you once again to our guests and thank you to all of you for listening. Please subscribe, share with your friends, give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment or a review. We always love to hear from you. Don't forget Portugal The Simple Life also has a magazine, so download it. It's for free. 
We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. And as we say in Portugal, Cesar's bem-vindo. Welcome to The Simple Life. <laughs>